so much work and hours and part of your, as I said before, part of your life goes into making these records. It's very hard to say because you, you, people are only really hearing, I don't know, five, six, seven percent of what they should be hearing. And the first track I recorded was Tomorrow Never Knows. There was a protocol, the way you mic drums, the way you do this, the way you do that. So everything was a bit samey. Ringo started by, by, with his drum sound. And so what I did, I lowered the drum mics and got a much closer sound on the drums. And then I decided to take the front skin off the bass drum and then stuff it with some, that sweater with the four holes in, which came from the Help film, I think and then put the front skin back on the bass drum and then moved the mic microphone and I shoved the whole drum kit through a Fairchild 660 limiter and it was there. so that became the new drum sound. It was just awesome. I also had to overload the equipment to try and get different sounds. There were no plugins then. And the next thing was, was, was John's voice because he said, I want to sound like the Dalai Lama singing on a mountaintop 25 miles away from the studio. So you think, wow, you know, nothing I can do, right? So luckily for me, I was looking through the control room window and there was a revolving speaker, which is called the Leslie speaker that goes with the Hammond organ. So I thought, well, if we can cut into the circuitry and get John's voice to go into that speaker and as it's revolving, it'll give us the sound we want. We put John's voice through it and it was just amazing. And he was just over the moon with it. And we actually saved it for, for the last verse. We didn't want to spoil the effect. Which kept us on our toes in a sense because they were asking for us to create sounds with basically nothing. I mean, for, as a metaphor, we have like a ball of string, some glue and a bit of sticky tape, you know? People often say, I, whenever I record something, they, they say, I know you recorded that and I can't really put my finger on it, but that's, that's my process. And as, as I said, we're now talking about, you know, tonalities, depth of sound, sparkle, no one's hearing this anymore, you know? And the only way you can get, get it is, is through high resolution.